Historically, changes in coolant formulations were driven by shifts in engine and radiator materials, like moving from cast iron and brass to aluminum. This change required new types of coolants. But now, with the rise of hybrids and battery electric vehicles, or BEVs, the absence of an eternal combustion engine and the introduction of potential electrocution hazards require an entirely new era of coolants. Let's talk more about that. In both hybrid and BEVs, the motor drive unit, battery, and inverter all require efficient thermal management, which is achieved by circulating coolant. The service interval for these coolants is long, usually up to 10 years or 200,000 miles. Some manufacturers may even say the fluid will last for the entire lifetime of the vehicle. However, most BEVs and hybrids will likely need cooling system repairs long before those hit the intervals. The cooling system in a hybrid's drive unit is different from an internal combustion engine and is closer to the systems found in BEVs. In these systems, electric pumps, rather than engine-driven ones, circulate the coolant. The coolant moves through heat sources like the motor, inverter, and battery, transferring this heat either to the passenger compartment or to heat exchangers, aka radiators. The system's goal is to maintain a consistent temperature for these components, even when the driver isn't in the vehicle. This system includes electric pumps, valves, and even specialized coolant holding tanks that look like a thermos. With all that being said, you may be asking yourself, can an EV even overheat? The answer is both yes and no. While instances of EVs ejecting coolant from the cap are rare, most cooling systems are designed to detect high temperatures or low coolant levels and respond by either disabling the vehicle or reducing power to avoid damage. What type of coolant is required for these BEVs though? The role of coolant is still the same as ICE vehicles, to transfer heat. The heat generated in BEVs and hybrids is generally lower than in internal combustion engines, so the pressure within the cooling system is also lower. This is beneficial for the coolant's longevity and there is less oxidation and contamination generally caused by an internal combustion engine. Most OEMs will recommend a non-conductive coolant for hybrids and BEVs. Formulating non-conductive coolants involves using base fluids and additives that do not ionize in solution. Base fluids generally include glycols combined with organic acid synthetic fluids with low electrical conductivity. These additives are selected to ensure they don't introduce ionic species that could increase the coolant's conductivity. By understanding coolant requirements for hybrids and BEVs, you can help maintain the longevity of your customer's hybrid and BEV vehicles. Whether it's selecting the right coolant or performing a system flush, stay informed to keep these advanced systems running smoothly. For more tire and service videos, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Christian Hinton, coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Garage Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.